Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Bring the Sims 4 Dream Home Decorator Part 6. So last time we did our first commercial renovation. We renovated a cafe in Windenburg and it was really really fun and it actually turned out pretty good. I think it was a little bit buggy but it did turn out good. And I read the comments and a lot of you guys wanted me to do the arcade addition next because we finally unlocked room addition so now we get to actually build and add on more rooms to the original building or house and this one is also a commercial lot so i picked the arcade edition i'm a little bit nervous because the client budget is kind of low and if we have to pay for walls and roof and everything although i think roofs are free if we have to pay for walls and like windows and doors it's gonna be a lot of money and i don't know how we're gonna do that with 3800 because there's nothing even to delete because if we're adding a whole new room there's gonna be nothing in it that i would replace so we're gonna have to do the whole thing with this money unless i come up with some <laughs> creative solution it is a great day today not very pretty hopefully we're going to a different world where it's a nicer weather but anyways i thought we would read this so it says arcade edition we're trying to get some younger techie folks into this place of business we could really use your help to update our venue with some modern pcs and other gaming hardware these nerds have deep pockets so let's get them in here so i don't know how we're gonna be buying it like actual pcs like modern pcs and gaming hardware with this amount of money so We'll see what I can figure out. Last night, um, we watched a movie with Ali. I also bought them this popcorn maker, whatever it's called. And we made some popcorn and we watched a movie and it was really cute and cozy. And now we're just gonna have a chat. Oh, never mind. He's playing, he's playing the guitar. This guy also plays the violin. He's very musical. Does he play all the instruments? Damn, he's good though. He's such a good roommate. Why is there hearts coming out of it though? <laughs> is he serenading us? I hope not. We're not interested. Anyways, the gig is gonna start in like 10 seconds. So we're just gonna head on over. Nothing crazy has happened in between episodes. I'm picking up basically right where we left off. So let's get to work and hopefully we can get promoted again today and get level six. Hopefully our client shows up today. We had that problem last time where they didn't show up. I would also like to change our outfit. Oh, okay, great. So they are here on behalf of the Shrieking Llama. So that is the establishment that we got today. I think we're in Windenburg yet again. It is a really, really cute build though. What even is this? Is this a bar? I think this is a bar and we have Moira here today. How am I gonna do an arcade here? Well, interesting. Let's go introduce ourselves. Hopefully we can get some really good prompts today because last time we only got to know the client's hobbies, which was not useful at all. And like Sims, they're gonna sit at completely opposite tables, which literally makes no sense. What? You can inspect the items in here? What does that even mean? What, is, what does that do? Interesting. Well, anyways, I'm gonna talk to her after we've done that and hopefully find out some stuff. The roommate paid rent? Oh, that's really cool. Okay, great. I was wondering how that worked because I paid the whole rent, but I guess they just paid directly to us. Anyways, let's see what we're gonna find out. They already have a foosball table, which I was thinking of putting in the arcade. Okay, so she doesn't like mid-century decor. Let me just stop talking to her and actually complete this interaction. Let's inspect a chair. Okay, so she's pulling out a notepad. What do we get from this? Can this give us prompts? Like, I don't really understand what she's saying. Ooh. She gave us a likes brown color little icon. Interesting. Can we inspect, like, the rest of the stuff in here? We can. I did not notice that before. Maybe it wasn't there or maybe I just never noticed. But I'm not really sure what we're gaining from this. Oh, okay, so I guess she tells us whether she likes the items or not. So she does like color brown and she liked the jukebox. All right, so she likes following 
that is not I'm useful fine. at all but at least we got one of these things in here oh okay here we got another one she likes garden decor that is not going to be useful for a gaming room like an arcade so let's suggest a different decor style can we maybe get a color or something to kind of work with today yes okay so we got the likes brown brown is good the rest of this whole freaking building is brown so that is a great color i'm just gonna keep suggesting a different decor style until we actually get something that we can work with and then how do you take before pictures of something that doesn't exist because it's a freaking addition okay so she likes modern decor i'm just gonna go with that honestly this is good enough i'm gonna send her away now i feel like we got everything that we needed Okay, well, is she gonna go? There we go. So where should we add this? We do have upstairs. I think we can add some tiles though. So I kind of don't wanna use the upstairs. Oh my God, there's a downstairs. Oh, we should add it down here, I think. That could save us money because we don't need to do windows. Wait, oh, but this whole thing is a club room. But we could do it on this side because the stairs come here. If we just do an arcade over here, what am I gonna take pictures of? Let's just do it up here. It won't really make sense, but we need some pictures. All right, there we go. And then let's jump into build mode. And I wanna see what it says about, what? I'm confused. No new floor tiles allowed. How is that possible if it's an addition? Oh my God, I'm so confused. I wanted to build a room down here. That would literally be perfect. You cannot add any new walls. So what does it say? Doing a room. This is not a room renovation. This is an addition. Am I crazy? Let me just jump back in here. Gig, arcade addition. And there's even the little plus sign. Oh my God, is this yet another bug that we've encountered? with this pack that is quite disappointing i was really looking forward to adding in a new room i guess we're just gonna have to work with the space that we already have they already have some games in here but they're more like bar games at least we can get more money now because we are gonna have to delete some things i'm thinking like this corner maybe and then also this corner are there like any requirements it just says that they would like some modern PCs and like gaming software or hardware, sorry. But like, hello, if I don't put any in, does that still count? Dear God, what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> I think I'm going to get rid of this and then move this foosball table over here. Maybe I'll just do this one really quickly and we can try another one in this episode. I really don't know what I'm doing. Where's the client panel? Here we go. Maybe I'll just add in like a few desks with computers. I'll see if we have any like arcade like gaming machines. I'm gonna use these mini tables and then I'm gonna use the same chairs that they already had. So let's see what the computers cost. So we don't have that much money. They did say modern computers. So I would like to do, ooh, is this a laptop from StrangerVille really? This cheap, that's really cheap. Laptops are modern for sure. These computers are all locked and then the next one is 3.3K, which we cannot afford two. So I'm just gonna do two laptops. Hopefully none of the Sims <laughs> steal them from here because they can be put in their inventory. Oh my God, a beer pong table would be amazing. Can we fit this somewhere? Not really. <laughs> I mean, if we delete this desk, we definitely can. Do we need this desk in here? Don't they have enough seating space? Cause a beer pong table, well, it's not a beer pong, I'm sorry. A ping pong table. They use like juice, guys. It's not beer. But this would bring in a younger crowd. Let me just try it. How much is this? About the same as the table I just deleted. So. That's perfectly fine. Like, come on, that's so freaking cool. I kind of want to put in like a little couch or chairs or something now in front of this fireplace because it looks kind of awkward and empty. There we go, I'm putting in these two chairs from Eco Lifestyle. Are there no like actual like old arcade machines? I feel like there are. If we put a TV here, we can definitely put in a gaming console. Oh wait, there is already a TV over here. Is there somewhere to sit if I put it over here? Can it 
be on one of the, oh, it can be on one of the shelves. Wait, that's really cool actually. This isn't the cheapest one, this is the cheapest one. So for 400, we can buy that. Let's put it on the shelf. Yeah, I guess I'm not doing that much here. It is such a lame renovation. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is the only thing that we have that is kind of like an old arcade machine, but this is massive. I kind of want to try to put this somewhere then. Maybe if we move the computers. <laughs> It is hideous, but literally it's the only thing that in my mind says arcade. So I kind of have to put it on this wall. There is a window there though, so that doesn't make a lot of sense. It takes like this whole area, guys. If I delete that window, let's do it. Let's delete the window so it's not super awkward. Let me just put one light in here. I cannot deal with how dark it is. So let's find a place to put these computers maybe in this corner let's put in one of these lights as well i'm just picking random stuff from the modern category that i think would suit this place and then we're gonna be done i just realized that the before photos make sense now because i'm doing the same room and i cannot remember where i took them from so that's gonna be a little bit annoying so we have this area now i just put in you know these chairs some decor items i moved the foosball table over here we have the ping pong table we have this massive arcade machine and then on this side we have the computers and then also the gaming console so that's good i actually want to do a lamp here on this table and then i'm done there we go that's kind of big but it's fine so i think we're good I don't know how this is an addition. Like literally we just renovated the whole floor. So that's a little bit disappointing, but I'm just gonna go in lift mode now. Take the after photos. Again, these are not gonna be the same photos that I took beforehand because I did not pay attention because I thought we were gonna be downstairs. Okay, there we go. So now we can call the client back. And I'll consider doing another space in the same episode. Since this one, honestly, is kind of lame. Like, not gonna lie, this is a little bit lame. But anyways, let's reveal the renovations. Let's see if we're gonna be able to get to show them to her. Or if we're gonna get an instant finish. She is going inside with her hands in front of her eyes. So, that's something. Okay, maybe this is working. Okay, so she walked right over here. Okay, so we do get to see the before and after. That's nice. It didn't bug out this time. We have this area. These are all not the same pictures, but it's fine. I just did some things. We'll look at them anyway. This corner is not the same as this one, but that's where we have the computers. And yeah, let's uh, show some things around to her like the arcade machine um let's show the computers obviously they're not in here sorry they're not in here as prompts because i don't know why and there were no requirements either which is kind of funny to me because it is supposed to be an arcade but i'll just show a few things out to her that i know she should like and we'll see what she thinks and hopefully we can get promoted that would be amazing Okay, she's ready to give her final verdict. Oh my god, she just did a happy jump. So let's go ask her what she thinks. I hope the music in here isn't too loud. All right, Moira, please like the new arcade edition. Okay, she's crying. Heck yeah, our payout is 825. Let's see how much we actually get. Here's the hug. Honestly, we haven't gotten one bad renovation. So she did tip us, so we did not get promoted. God dang. But our reputation was improved significantly. I don't know if you guys can see, but both our performance and reputation are currently excellent. So let's go home. Let's see which gigs we have. Maybe we can do a quick one. All right, what do we have now? So we do still have this returning client, but we also got a phone call that someone recommended us to someone else and it was like a referred client. I don't see that in here right now. Oh, we do have different things. We I couldn't choose the nursery or the in-law unit just two days ago when I was picking this one. Oh, the nursery has such a big budget. And the in-law unit addition has 9,000. It's for the Bjergsens. I don't really want to mess up their house. Who are the Cortez? Let's do this one. 
It is a freaking addition. Honestly, if this doesn't let us build any more tiles, like the previous gig just didn't let us, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be really disappointed because where the heck are we gonna shove a nursery? We would love a nursery in our home. Please add a room for us, add a room. Like, hello, please give me the tiles to do so. We aren't necessarily expecting at the moment, but we just like want to be ready for anything. Let's just do the nursery, guys. So this is for tomorrow, 9 a.m. I'll do it in the same episode. Maybe I'll kind of do it speedy, kind of just show you guys the finished result. But yeah, I really want to try the addition. So we're going to do that. I'll get back to you guys tomorrow morning in game time and we'll see what we can do. All right, it is the next morning. We actually had a really fun night last night. I decided that we should go to the gym and when we were leaving, our roommate, Ali, was like, so you're heading out, so what are we doing? And he came with us. So we went to the gym, actually in Del Sol Valley. And then we got home, it was really late, we went to bed. We took a muscle relaxing bath like with soaks earlier, so we feel good now. Made pancakes for breakfast. Everything is going really good. We're currently meditating, getting ready for our shift or our gig, I guess. And there's another sim here, Liliana. Ali's friend is visiting us today, but we're about to take off in like 30 minutes, 30 seconds in real time. So we're just getting prepared, you know, achieving our inner zen so let's check this out hopefully this gig will actually work for us and we'll be able to build a really cute nursery okay i am not a fan of your outfit <laughs> this lady is missing their dress that they were wearing or something i did do a little cc cleanup recently so this save file was already active so whatever they were wearing i have gotten rid of so let's just ignore that maybe we'll talk to the rest of the clients a little bit more so this is their house where are we is this just you know good old oasis springs i think it is I'm not sure if I've ever been to this specific lot. Maybe this is an empty house because I don't think these guys are townies. I think they're random people that were filled in, you know, the world, right? Right? Am I wrong? She dislikes guitar, so okay, great, great news. She also dislikes rock climbing. Holy crap, please be out of dislikes. <gasps> oh my god, come on. She likes writing, okay? Please give me a color or a decor, no. Great, absolutely freaking fantastic. That is not useful. I'm not gonna put anything to do with writing or gaming in a nursery. Maybe I'll have to now so that they like it. Wait, let's ask for their favorite colors just to use as like an extra thing. Okay, so she dislikes the color orange, which is like their whole house. Interesting. She also dislikes island decor. Does anyone here have any likes? <sighs> Okay, okay, well, let's just send them away. <laughs> this episode is not going so well. All right, goodbye, guys. See you later. Um, I'm just gonna check before I take these pictures whether I have floor tiles available to me. Please, fingers crossed. Oh, <gasps> yes, okay, so we do have 22 floor tiles and we have a big budget i could not be happier so let's just go back in here sorry 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 let me take quick before photos where should we put it probably out of you know this room although this is right at the <laughs> corner of the build there's nothing that can fit here nor it's there on this side okay so the lot is absolutely tiny the only place where we can really put one is here I kind of feel bad for the kid because, you know, to go into the nursery, you'll have to go through his room. So I'm going to have to get rid of most of these just to, you know, make some space here. And we'll move his window because I don't want to delete it. So I'm just going to put this on this side. There we go. Okay, I'm excited. We finally get to add some floor tiles. 22 tiles is quite a lot, actually. What does the roofing look like here? Okay, we can just extend this. So let's do a room. Why does this not go here? You cannot add any more. Oh, okay, so that's already too big. How many is this? 
18. So we could do like a little something like this. No, we don't want to do that. Let's just do that. I think that will be good. Let's do, ooh, can I do one of these really big windows? How much do you cost? Ooh, you're not that expensive. We could definitely do that. And then we'll do this one over here and nothing on this side. I don't mind how this looks. I'm not mad. I will put a few of these on this side just to make it look nice and even. Should we do another one of these? How much is that? Not bad. We have exactly 7,000 left. And then we have to fix the roof, but roofing is free. So we'll do that there. And honestly, I think that looks kind of fine. Okay, so we have our little nursery. Let's use the same doors just so that it, you know, is cohesive and matches the rest of the house. And they seem to have the same wallpaper in every single room. Actually, the kitchen has a different one, but these three are the same, just in different colors. So we'll put this one in here, but I will choose a different color. We could do a blue nursery i mean that makes me feel like it's for a boy or we could do oh, a pink one imagine pink with the blue floor that actually looks kind of nice i want to do that let's do that there is no other requirements though even though it is like a nursery so i don't know if the clients would be unhappy if i decided to turn this into like a bathroom because <laughs> then obviously we wouldn't have any kid stuff in it nothing for a nursery but i don't know i've never tried it i've never tried to troll the career but what we definitely need is a bassinet should we do a double baby <laughs> yeah i want to do that i want to do nice curtains around here as well oh i can't do anything in these other rooms that's interesting it did not do that for the last build. <laughs> it was so buggy. It treated that like it was just a regular room renovation. Pretty cool that they were able to make these restrictions that you can actually only work in this room. And it realizes that I build a whole new room here. Actually, I'm changing the floor to white. This is going to be like a very cute pink girly room, but it is what it is. I usually try to make nurseries very gender neutral, but I'm just feeling the pink vibes today. And their house has a lot of colors anyway, so I think it would be cute to do a whole new color. So I put in these curtains, which I really like. What else do you usually have in a nursery? You'd have like a changing table, which we can make a DIY one. This is not a trick that I came up with. I've seen a bunch of people do this. I think it was Cyberdoll who first kind of showed this to me. So I'll show you guys. But first up, you're just gonna pick a dresser. Most of these will work. I think this one's really cute. So we'll test that out. And then what you wanna do is get an ottoman. A lot of these will work. I really like this one and it comes in pink. And then you're going to use the nine key on your keyboard and lift it up. And then you have to have move objects on. And then now if you hold alt, you have free placement. Um, can we change the light? Thank you. So I'm going to put this right in the middle. I think about there. And look how cute that is. It looks kind of like a changing table. It looks like there's a little, you know, padding, little mattress on top of this dresser. Like that's adorable. That is such a cute little trick. Okay, I'm adding in some more surfaces so we can put some more stuff here, like some towels. Oh, and obviously this is purely decorational. It's not gonna work. Babies are still stuck to their bassinets unless we get a baby update at some point. Wait, I'm kind of loving these curtains and the addition of green to this room. Maybe I wish they were a little bit lighter, but it makes it just not just pink, you know? So I think I'm gonna do those. You know what? Maybe we do just one bassinet. That gives us more space. I'm running out of space already. So we can put this little guy in that corner. We'll put this guy in this corner. Wait, we could put one of these really big teddy bears in the corner. That would be super cute. Uh, there's a cat as well and a dog. <gasps> yes. Okay, so that looks really nice. I actually love that. I think I'll just put a trash can there. Okay, I think this is done. Last things I did was added some paintings on the wall. I especially love these cupcake ones. Just the color scheme is perfect. Ah, uh, yeah, this is how it turned out. Let's go into live mode and take the pictures. Also look at it with natural lighting in tab mode. So you come in from the kids room through this door and oh my god, it looks so good, you guys. 
So over here we have the changing station, which looks so cute, honestly. I put some towels up there too. We have a couch here so you can sit down, breastfeed your baby, or just, you know, hang out in this room maybe with a book or something and then this corner is i guess a little bit messier but it's fine we actually have the bassinet here we have a little stool we have this huge cat plushie and then we have the little potty and some paintings on the wall and honestly it's so cute i love the lighting in here now all right let's take the after photos oh my god i love it that room is so freaking cute honestly I'm so obsessed with it. So let's call back the clients. I did not even check how our budget was doing. We still had over 3K left. I could have put something else in here like outside, but honestly, I'm not gonna force it. Let's just call them back. Oh, and let's do these photos. They're not gonna make any sense, but it's okay. I just wanna show off the new room. All right, they're here. And yeah, this is what the house looks like from the outside now. Oh my God. How did that end up higher than that one? I swear they were the same height. <laughs> that is annoying me, but we can't go back into Bilbo now. I might have to come back here and do it like <laughs> off camera just to fix that silly little balcony. But honestly, their house still looks really good from the outside. Okay, what's happening? Why are we going this way? There's no door over here. You guys, you gotta get in. Okay, well anyways, here are the before and after. Mostly just the after photos because the before photos are from this kid's bedroom. It's not even the same room. How is this supposed to work? But here they are. Anyway, I think it looks really, really good. I really like the pink color scheme that we went with, with a little bit of teal and green in there as well. Oh my God, why is this kid angry at us? What did we do? Are they all hating it? Oh my God. I wanted to get promoted. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna show them everything. She's like, what the heck? <gasps> She's already ready to talk about it? This kid is just yelling at us. Oh my God, this is terrible. Absolutely terrible. He's gonna hate us. Let's see what the teenager thinks first. All right. Um, no. Oh my God, why don't they like it? They gave me nothing. He's about to yell at me. I know it. What do you think? No. No. Okay, they hated it. <laughs> oh my god, my reputation is gonna go down so much. Let's ask the lady in her underwear <laughs> and a cardigan what she thinks. This is such a towny outfit. Okay, well, she liked it. Please let us let that help us somehow a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so we have completed the gig and received the following results. Zero money. This is our first failed one. Professional reputation dropped by how much? Oh my God, I'm just gonna go home. I'm done with this. Like so far, I've thought that this career is pretty easy. It's really easy to follow their instructions and they've liked everything that I've done, but this time, Jade put some effort into decorating the space, but the client didn't seem too impressed. Was it lack of vision, artistry, spatial awareness? Maybe another gig will help make things right. I don't even know. Our reputation is still excellent, but we did not get promoted. I might do a gig in between episodes. Let's just take a quick look, see what we have. This is what we have currently. If you have anything in specific that you would like to see still in the series, comment down below. I saw a lot of comments saying that you guys wish I played this till Jade maxed out the career, so I will consider it. But we have done almost everything though, because we got to do the room addition. The only thing we haven't done is the level addition, but I need to get promoted four more times for that to happen. So I don't know, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you still enjoying the series? Do you still wanna see more? I'm definitely doing a let's play with the new expansion pack when that comes out in July, Cottage Living. I'm super excited for it. I think I'm gonna do more of a storyline based let's play in that as well as looking into everything new from the pack. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and give this episode a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and bye!